A couple of years ago, I made a video about hate in the car community. I talked about how there's an animosity in the car community between different car cultures. That video was one of our most viewed videos of all time, and it got me thinking more about the car community. There's so many different types of car enthusiasts out there, and so many different ways to modify your car. But when you take a step back and look at the main reasons that people build their cars, there's really only two directions to go. Show cars or race cars. Now, of course, by race car, I mean any car that goes out on the track. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a competitive format. This can be drag racing, autocross, or time attack, of which I've focused on here in this video. Then you've got show cars, which of course are cars that are built based on the aesthetics and the appearance and how they look. You don't necessarily have to take your car to a show to consider yourself a show car guy. Really, that's just anybody that cares about the aesthetics and the appearance of their car. Almost every car enthusiast cares about how their car looks. Even race car drivers have different liveries and bright colors to show off their car. Where these two categories differ is where the owners put their attention. Is it purely about function or all about form? To understand show cars better, I took a drive to Chicago for Tuner Evolution. Here, they host one of the most reputable car shows in the United States. Tim Tannhauser and I drive a 2004 Forester XT with a full STI swap. Uh, I would say all, all cars are show cars. People just build the way they want to. I like when people build how they like to and not what other people from the internet want. So just doing your own thing and making it how you like. I think it's just a cool way to meet people, enjoy the community and enjoy the car scene in general. Um, people like what they like. From what I can tell, show cars are all about bringing the community together to look at and appreciate other people's cars. People just want to hang out in a chill environment and appreciate other people's builds. My name is Dustin Williams. I am a content creator on YouTube and we are at Tune Revolution in Chicago. So as you guys may know, a lot of my cars are built for show. I do like to incorporate track styling into the cars as well, but I can appreciate all builds. I guess what separates like a show car from just a regular car is like the quality of the build. I feel like people who are more into showing their car tend to take like the little, little uh, small details and go the extra mile on those, whether it's like rivets in your wheels or on maybe your wide body kit, interior, wheels, the little like specs on like your car when you're like fading paint into carbon fiber. Like I feel like the show people who want to uh, enter the car in a shows really go that extra step whereas like a normal person will be like oh yeah I'll throw some wheels and do a few mods here and there but I feel like the show cars really go that extra step. So show cars are mostly about attention to detail and going that extra step. People will modify their cars in a way to grab the most attention possible. Flashy designs, special lighting effects, these are all common ways that show cars get this done. There are however always extreme cases in any example like this Honda Civic with 27 degrees of negative camber. This is just taking it to an extreme that's just downright dangerous. This car is definitely not representative of all show cars. I think the attention to detail is just in a different place. I wouldn't say it's higher. I'd say that people with race cars really, you know, make sure it works first. You know, that's that's kind of kind of the focus. Not to say that these cars don't work as well, but these are very much uh, visually motivated and it, and it kind of shows they're all really pretty. Race cars also have a high attention to detail, it's just with a different emphasis. The attention to detail on race cars is all about how they make their car go one tenth of a second faster, while the attention to detail on show cars is all about making sure every single bolt is clean and shiny. There's cars that are on the extreme of both of the spectrums, and then there's cars that flirt the line between show car and race car. It's less of a definite cutoff and more of a spectrum. But before we go any further, let's see what some of our track drivers have to say. What's up guys, my name is Tyler Pappas and we're here at uh, Motivicity Speed Ring at the M1 Concourse right outside of Detroit, Michigan. I'm here driving my Thai Speed CSF Cooling BMW M2 and so far so good today. 
the, I think the difference between a show car and a race car, um, people who build their car for show maybe have no interest in driving. I've been on track with people who thought that they would go around track and have a good time and did not. So I don't think that this sport is for everybody. One, from a cost perspective, you really need support out here where you got to start, you know, you have to have a business really to be out here and be competitive and build a car like this because it requires a ton of money. I think um, a show car is cool because you can style it. It's more of an expression. It's art. Um, this car for me is my art. It's uh, a little more function over form, but uh, I think we've managed to you know, get a good mix of both with our car, but uh, I chose to build it for the track. I love racing, this is my passion. Um, we drove all the way here from New Jersey to drive around a two mile track, you know what I mean? Like, we don't need to be here, but we're here because we love the sport and this is what we like to do. It's not that race car drivers don't care about how their cars look. Of course they do, but they care more about how it performs than how it looks. Often that means that the car might end up a little bit rough around the edges, if that means that they can go faster. Race cars can cost an insane amount of money that most people might not realize. They can drop $10,000 on a sequential transmission just to have it blow up after one lap. That kind of thing doesn't happen to show cars. So it's not necessarily that they don't want their car to look good, it's that they can't afford to make their car go fast and look good at the same time. It's all about different priorities. Oh, this isn't going to be a popular opinion. Uh my opinion, show cars should be show cars, race cars should be race cars. Uh, for me, I can't afford to have a car that does both. And frankly, I don't care at all about show cars, really. That's why my car looks like a turd, because uh, I can't afford to make it look nice. Uh, but it's pretty stinking fast, so uh, that's, that's where I've spent my money. And that's what excites me. I'm not trying to put anybody down that waxes their cars every weekend. That's, I mean, that's what gets them excited, good for them. I like to go fast, it's just, it's in my blood, I want to race. The fastest race cars on the track are generally covered in zip ties and duct tape, but that doesn't mean that the drivers don't care about how their cars look. To me, function, function looks good. Um, so, I do want it to look good, but function is always the priority. I don't have a problem with just show cars. The only thing, I, I want people to try like real driving events. I think it might change their mind. And, and some of those show cars, I don't, uh, I don't know if the, the owners are scared to put some of those cars through the paces of track or autocross and stuff. Because I mean, some of those cars are really nice. I've never been one to have a really nice car because I've loved driving it so much that I know the car's gonna get beat up and stuff. So I, for me to have a show car, it's just, it, it's kind of painful. I hate seeing cars just get beat up and stuff. And road course and autocross, I mean, if, you, if you're doing it every other weekend and stuff, the cars do get, I mean, they get used, they get beat up. They're, you know, it's hard to maintain a level of sh real show quality on a car that's tracked often. But nothing against show cars, I don't know. I like, I definitely like looking at cars. I just prefer driving them. <laughs> Track car drivers talk a big game and say that they don't care about how their cars look. Yet, there's an awful lot of race cars with crazy flashy designs on them. So, which do you like better? It's all about priorities. Do you like how your car looks more than it performs? Are you okay slapping duct tape on your front bumper if that means you can go faster on track? When it comes down to it, both categories of the car community like fast cars that look good. Some people try to build their cars for both, and props to them. It's hard to make your car look good and go fast at the same time. But not everybody wants to do both. Some people would rather chill out and just enjoy hanging out with friends and building their cars as clean as possible, while others don't care about dings and scratches if that means having a fun day at the racetrack. But you should try both sides. I would argue that most show car guys haven't done a proper track day. You might not like it, but you'll never know unless you try it. On the flip side, track guys, go to a car show or two. I think you'll be surprised at the intense level of detail that goes into making a show car. It's not about which one is better, it's about which one you enjoy more but you can't say you don't like one or the other if you haven't tried both. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is a very controversial subject, so I'm sure a lot of you are gonna have stuff to say about it in the comments below. Just keep in mind that this is my opinion. It's not necessarily true fact, uh, but let me know your opinion in the comments below and we'll have a lovely little argument about it. Um, anyway, thank you to Advanced Auto Parts for sponsoring this video. Uh, we're so humbled to be able to work with them and have them sponsor videos like this so we can make really interesting topics for you guys to uh, talk about, discuss, uh, and just learn more about. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and like and uh, hit the hit the notice bell is what is what my boy Ryan over there is telling me uh, is the new lingo. Hit the notice bell and uh, yeah, looking forward to the next video.